This is going to be a quick overview of the whole wizard and the whole callout. I'm just going to open up a, uh, a part. I'll open up a sketch on the front plane. Give it a quick dimension so we know what we're uh, size wise. One and a half will be fine. Extrude that out. Okay, and then I'm going to hit the S key to bring up the whole wizard. Uh, quick, uh, quick link. And I'm going to set this quarter 20 is fine. Uh, we can do a tap tool. And look at the custom sizing. Two and one's good. If we show the thread class to B, and right now we are up to next. Let's um, let's go with the up to next first, and we'll position that one, and then accept it. Picking on the face, hitting the S key again, going over to the whole wizard. This time I'm going to do through all and positions, and not really worried about location for this example. One more time for the S key. And we're still in the quarter 20. This one I'm going to switch over to a blind in condition. And 0.5, 0.75. And um, one of the things I noticed in 2020 is it gives the option to go depth uh, to the shoulder or to the tip, which is kind of nice. And then position for one more. All right, so something like a counterbore then. We'll set and make sure that it is a socketed cap screw in this case. And quarter inch normal. If I show the custom sizing, then this would be where I'd want to uh, make some adjustments. Uh, 7 16 is a little on the large side. It's a standard, but maybe I want to shrink it up a little bit. If I add the um, you know, 10 thousandths here, it's adjusting and it doesn't necessarily um, you know, reflect that it is head clearance. So um, when we're looking at the socketed cap screws, typically the um, major diameter, quarter inch um, diameter thread is going to be a, uh, correlate to a quarter inch high uh, on the, uh, the head. And then in this case, the um, diameter of the head is uh, 3 8 so we still have plenty of uh, clearance there. All right, so if I want to use that one again, I'm going to create update a favorite. It does not like the quarter inch, so we're going to do 50, 250, and it's a socketed cap screw, and then I change the, um, we're just going to make it small with, um, with head clearance. Okay, and then because Um, let's see, I did a practice run, so that apparently was the exact same name. <laughs> All right, so we're going to save that. And because of our uh, academic um, uh, settings, we don't uh, save back to the, um, uh, to the program files or any of the, uh, the system files. So I've created a favorites under my Dropbox and um, uh, the 2020 system files. So we'll save that in there. And then positions. And go ahead and locate it and accept it and that ended up not being a through all so let's go ahead and edit um, it should do the uh, the same thing oh, I was blind in condition let's go up to next so it just reads the uh, the through and most of the time it'll be a, um, uh, a through all right so we'll try one more time to the s yes key and I'm going to reset the defaults so we can see the, uh, the difference and we'll turn off the head clearance. Uh, so you go to the positions and place it. All right, so we can uh, change and overwrite, update the, um, the favorite, and then just save it back out so that I can use it in, uh, in other places. So let's go ahead and save this. And then I'm going to um, make a drawing from part 
and just pull up a blank landscape. We'll drag and drop that in. And I don't need a projected view, so we'll go right into the whole callouts. And our first was the up to next. And if I hadn't included the 2B as the uh, thread class, it would have just read UNC. And then we see the 200 through all. And then the depth, 500 and 0.75. And so one of the things we'll want to adjust and can possibly make a, uh, another favorite, I'm going to go back into the select, get out of the dimension tool. We can look at all of the, uh, the settings, so the through, the thread description, the, the thread class, and um, uh, the threads uh, uh, in condition. And I'm going to set the first one to a three decimal place, and that updates the 201. And I'm going to add or update a style. So this is going to be my uh, three decimal place um, uh, tap, uh, tap hole, something like that. All right, so when I pick one of these, I should be able to come over and grab a favorite and go through very quickly and update those uh, those items. All right, so we do the the smart dimension just as a contrast. I'm just going to get the the diameter or the diameter. We have those separate, and if I do the whole callout, then that's what's giving me my uh, composite uh, stack up. So three decimal places. And again, if I decide that I want to use this more than once, we can add update a style. And this is going to be the counter bore, um, three decimal place um, for the through hole, something like that. All right, so again, if I want to use those again, then we need to save them. And I'll navigate my way back to the phase. And save. So apparently I did not do that one. So that would be a good uh, good time to uh, go ahead and place those. Oh, it did um, replace for the tap hole. Make sure I'm not overwriting. Have the correct one selected and save. All right, so now those are available to use anytime I want to uh, pick them. I, while, as long as I'm in this sheet, those will uh, pop up and uh, go through. So, oh, the, the 266, that one went over to three decimal places as well. So would like to keep that at two and that one at two. Oh, got to change it and that one at two. All right, so update all annotations. Okay, well, if I'd added the other one, it should have updated it as well. And then we're just going to make sure to save it so that uh, when I use it again, and this time, yes, I went over it. All right, so smart dimension. Oh, not smart dimension. Oh, call out. <laughs> Here we go. All right, it places it. We're going to go back and grab the style. Counter board, three decimal places, pulls up. Now we're ready to save. So it takes a little bit to set up, but that um, is going to save us a lot of time later on.